Uh, welcome back to the Crypto Father channel. Uh, I'm joined today by Andrew from the MeowCoin team. Welcome back, Andrew. Great to be back. Thank you for having me. On the problemo. Um, <clears throat> so the goal of this video is to update the community on the progress of newest um, things coming up. So MeowCoin's uh, hired a new dev who um, cranked up the speed on the updates and uh, pushed out a new update for the uh, MeowCoin core wallet to 2. Point, what is it? 2.0.3 right now. Yes, correct. Yeah. Do you want to just fill us in uh, why that's happening? What's the purpose of this update? And uh, the, the the website, your website, Meowcoin website, specifies that it's a mandatory update. So maybe you can just hop on and do the explanation. Yeah. Okay. So the the basis behind uh, what we're trying to do is uh, we've we've essentially been essentially been working towards a goal, which is um, to update our algorithm. Um, so Zach has been um, working on that really, really hard at the moment. Um, has been, um, you know, been pretty, pretty um, diligent in, in getting all the code up and done and running. Um, so effectively, what he's been um, uh, pushing towards is um, getting the code into a stable place where we could a test it, which we've we've, we've done, um, and b he's been looking towards um, actually. Uh, putting in sort of a, a, a point within the, the upcoming blockchain for that transition to take place. So um, he has been um, really, really busy doing that, which has been wonderful. Um, and we're very grateful for what he's been doing. Um, the purpose behind it is to initiate what we've called Meow Power, which is uh, an adjustment to our, our algorithm or the consensus mechanism that we keep the blockchain secure with. Um, Meow Power will be um, a another variant of Prog Power, so it will retain its um, ASIC resistance, which is fantastic. Uh, what we have done is we've actually adjusted the DAG size to increase it to four gigawatts. Um, the reason for that is it's to uh, give preference to home miners. Um, so there's a whole heap of um, uh, we we call them warehouse farms, which again we have no problem with from a from a um, you know ecosystem point of view. Um, people want to mine in, in, in the, the way that they want to mine and, and with the um, same level of um, industriousness as, as other people. So that, that's all good. Uh, but what we wanted to do is, is essentially affirm um, decentralization as much as we can by uh, pushing those, um, uh, uh, pushing the preference towards miners that were home miners who had, you know, a couple of GPUs at home or a rig at home um, that mined. Um, so the change in the DAG was, was for that. Um, the other part was what we wanted to do is reduce the um, electrical requirement or the power requirement for the algorithm itself. Um, what that actually uh, did is um, it, it helps to push back uh, more money into the miners' hands. That's that's kind of the goal here, right? So our our aim is to make our algorithm um, as ASIC resistant, but as uh, uh, how do I phrase this? Profitable as possible for your home standard average miner. Okay. Um, the, our reasons for doing that are to preference decentralization, uh, to preference everyone having a, a chance to have a go and to get a reasonable reward. Um, and also just to, you know, put our own stamp on, on the, the crypto sphere, um, as it were in our own way. So that's kind of what we've been trying to do. We've been pretty, um, we've been pretty keen to get there. Um, the change to me, our power also is a little bit like a watershed moment for us so that it, it, it fits our branding um, it fits what we want to do from a from a, a chain point of view um and also it, it kind of gives us the chance to strike out on our own we're now our own thing so to speak um i think a lot of power forks sort of sit within the shadow of, of ravencoin and, and you know whilst we're grateful for everything the ravencoin devs have done uh we wanted to stand on our own two feet um so the the actual update is mandatory primarily because we want everyone to adjust onto that network and to get that benefit of being able to mine at a cheaper um, price and to um, or mine sorry mine at a cheaper power um, usage uh, and also um, mine with the, the most secure uh, updated software that we've got. One question that I saw posted, uh, I think a couple of times in the Discord, were concerned. I guess somebody. Um mentioned was the increase or maybe the decrease in power consumption on uh, uh, Kapow or Kaupow, um could bring in 
uh, well, could could damage the ASIC resistance. That was one of the concerns. And again, I'm not I'm not an expert. I have no idea about these things, quite frankly. So, uh, what's your feedback um, or to that kind of comment? Um, so, there's a few things that we sort of put forward to that. One, um, no one is producing ASICs for a uh, coin that is our market cap. Um, that's just the reality. There's not enough money in it for the producers of ASICs. So, consequently, there's no real reason for them to do that. Um, the second thing is um, this, we're still a, a, a ProgPow algorithm. Um, we've just adjusted our settings. Now, what I mean by that is um, our algorithm flips between different algos as we um, as we actually operate, um, which is one of the one of the features of um, Prog Power and why it's ASIC resistance. Uh, the high power requirement is the thermodynamics that often uh, ASICs will um, not be able to necessarily um, uh, hold up against. Um, so. Yes, in some way there is the opportunity, I suppose, to develop an ASIC, but the, the thing is, is that it would only be 20 to 30% more effective than your average GPU. The second part to that is um, we also have plans that um, once we reach a, a, obviously a block height where that level of um, technicality comes into the ecosystem, um, at the, the earliest sign that we've got a, an ASIC that's sitting or an ASIC farm being built that's sitting on uh, Meow Power, we can actually complete a secondary fork and um, push the actual algorithm back into a more energy consuming algo. Um, our hope is that by that point we'll be um, so profitable that the um, average miner is able to sustain the increase in the um, power consumption, but you know we've got that ability to fork it from then. Um, so that's something that we're mindful of. Uh, we're not really um, too worried about it at the moment um, because we know that there's no ASICs that are on our chain and there's unlikely to be any until we have such price realization and such um, market cap that it would be attracted to a, um, a manufacturer to, to look at it. Uh, and when that were to happen, and um, we would obviously be, um, uh, you know, endeavoring to push the, the chain onto the, uh, you know, a, a, a fork that would increase the power consumption. Um, what are some of the test results? Uh, so I know um, there is a test net that's running now and uh, a bunch of people, I haven't had the chance to jump onto it, uh, onto it just yet, but uh, hopefully maybe I can do it tonight. In any case, uh, what are some of the test results for? Um, uh, so the goal of, of switching over to Meow Power is to to uh, increase revenue, I guess, and uh, lower power consumption. So, what are the initial tests showing? Yeah, look, at the moment we're seeing something in the vicinity of forty percent reduction in power. Um, so um, I've actually got some test results which I'll we haven't actually um, put them or public publicize them per se because obviously every mm. gpu is a little bit different right yeah. um and every um uh you know uh, every gpu has its own consumption rate um basically we had a um a, a 40 90 which he was playing around with um, which i believe reduced from um uh i think it was 290 watts down to uh, 180 um, and we're still producing somewhere in the vicinity of um, 60 to 70 mega hash. So um, I believe it was the figure that we were looking at. So yeah, so that was kind of really the encouraging piece that we looked at and went, wow, okay, we, we've actually struck this. So it's a significant drop yeah. in, in the power consumption itself. Yeah, getting between uh, 62 to 70 megahertz at 230 to 270 watts on a 4090. And uh, that would usually run at 330 to 350 watts uh, for a six, uh, for 60 to 66 mega hash, right? So what that will likely translate to, because I did a little bit of math on it, is, uh, you know, 170, 180 for a 3080, which is some of the GPUs I've run. Uh, and I think I was hitting in the mid 120s for the 3070 that I dumped on there and had a crack at as well. So those, those results are really encouraging. Now, obviously, you know, tuning's part of it. Um, the miners, the mining software, teams themselves will obviously optimize that as much as they can um that that's going to be part of the um fun journey that we're going to be on is getting that out there um and getting the mining algorithms to uh, mining uh, softwares to actually look at it and and do the, the best job that they can do there um additional to that what it, what we think it may open up which is something that we're really um hopeful for is that the, the potential to dual mine it with something like a casper or a carlson um and potentially even triple minor and add um, Zill in there as well. So if we were able to get the, the three on there, um, that obviously increases the 
um, hashing opportunity and profitability of um, the miner themselves, which is, you know, our primary aim, right? So that's what we want. Yeah, that would be great because uh, right now on high vols, um, I I double mine Meow Coin and uh, Zill, so that's that's cool to have to be able to to have that option. You know, if you want to, you add another. Yeah, option. absolutely. Yeah. So so you you to increase an additional. Um, uh, chain to your to your mining it increases your profitability mm. and you know that that's the goal right like that's what we're, we're aiming for is to improve your mining profitability there's an ongoing i mean i think that's with every single project this whole um we need it to be listed on as many exchanges as possible and and people go off on tangents about that but uh right now we're, there there are talks or there is a voting going on on the discord channel um and i guess we're looking at mexc and uh, uh, CoinX, is that correct? Yeah, so there's some opportunity in both of those exchanges. They've they've been in discussions with us for quite a while now. Um, there is some um, opportunity with other exchanges as well. So we do have a, a range of people we can reach out to if we were to go down that route. Um, the I'm trying to be careful with what I say here because obviously I don't want to um, impinge or impugn anyone. But the, the reality of it is, is that um, Yes, there is an element of exposure that you gain, gain every time you're on a, a different exchange, right? That there's no there's no disagreement on that from me. Um, so you get the ability to have people to um, trade on the exchange, and um, that means that you get more holders, which means you get more people that are buying, you get more buy power, you have a you know additional volume, blah blah blah. Um, all of that from an economic point of view, I, I understand. Um, the bit that is, uh, I think, people just do not really seem to um understand no matter how many times we we say it and and we, we want to be careful that we don't you know um uh, suggest that people don't don't listen to us but more that i think there's a prevailing view amongst the crypto industry that um you need to be on these big exchanges and to some extent you do you do genuinely need to be on exchanges in order to trade and operate i, I acknowledge that um, but when you're looking at um, listing fees of anywhere between 40 to 100 to sometimes even up to $120,000 US. Um, and that's just for listing. And then what ends up happening is the um, part of the, some of the listing parameters are that you need to deposit a certain amount of your coin into their um, exchange wallets where they then do things like airdrops out to consumers or out, out to traders. Those, those are shown to, to be a tactics whereby people get um, a whole heap of coin for doing nothing. Um, and then they dump the coin the minute it lists. Um, we don't feel like that's in the best interests of, of our community for a start, nor in the, the actual long-term survivability of the, the coin. Um, and so what we're actually doing is we're having a little bit of self-respect and saying, actually, if you want us on your exchange, you need to come to the party a little bit yourself. So we, we've sort of engaged and said, we, we, don't, we don't mind um, putting some liquidity. Uh, we don't mind putting some trading volume in there. Um, uh, that that piece where we're okay with engaging with um, because that is about creating a trading environment on an exchange, sure. Uh, but we don't want our coin being given away when there's miners that are working hard and paying to actually get it. Uh, so that's one thing that we want to avoid. And secondly, um, we don't necessarily believe that the that a community funded, um, a philanthropically minded project should be paying prices in as much as what they are requesting and the reason i cite that is because most of the crypto projects that are starting that are tokens have a huge amount of liquidity behind them um, they've usually got vc funding behind them that pump dump and push through right. the exchange makes their cash on that right so that, that that's part of the um the, the, the profitability for the exchange there is they get um, a, a portion of the trading fee and they get the listing fee and it makes it worth it while that's why you see all these new coins and tokens sort of spring up and it's primarily tokens with coins it's a little bit different we're fair launch we don't have a um, liquidity pool or a treasury in that sense we have the dev fee which we use to drive uh, payment for our marketing services for our coding services um, and for our donations um, and any of the other costs that we have such as servers what have you uh, and given where the price is at the moment, um, it is difficult to make ends meet uh, because that's that's just the reality of running a business in, in a market like this. Um, so we feel like spending $100,000 on an exchange might not be the best use of our time or uh, the best use of our funding. Um, and so we want to be responsible custodians of that cash that we have. Um, 
I think that's the big piece that I want people to understand. We're not saying no to listing on these exchanges. We're saying we're not prepared to spend, you know, five, six figures, Bitcoin, um, to to basically list on these places. And we're also not prepared to take, um, you know, the funds from the community just to, to, to get on there because we feel like that's not looking after them either, right? So we're, yeah. we're, we're actually trying to look out for our community. We're not um, taking money for funding opportunity uh, for funding of, of an exchange listing where we feel like it's going to hurt the price right um, there's no guarantee that funding uh, uh, that listing will get you a pump in price either so it's not like we can justify it on the basis of we're paying to get the pump and therefore everyone wins um, in fact what we've seen um, and from our conversations around uh, the traps um, with other projects when you do list on these big exchanges you get the, the equivalent of people buy up and then they dump right there and you end up right, right back where you were before yeah um, so that that's the counterbalance counterbalanced argument to it um, I do want people to understand that because I think it's really important yeah it is uh, and I think uh, their example the best example is with uh, p2b <clears throat> I think that was a, one of the first exchanges you guys actually uh, paid for getting listed on, and then Meowcon was delisted f uh, due to low uh, trading volume, right? Yeah, that's right. So yeah. we we um, listened to the community. There was an opportunity to get a relatively good price on what we were talking with with P2P. Um, at that point, we were optimistic that something would happen. Mm. We listed. Uh, we did an ICO as well. We listed. Um, you know, you learn from all of these experiences. Uh, the trading volume just never materialized. Right. And that, that's just reality, right? And we're not trading the coin ourselves. So um, to to then expect that, um, you, you, you know, you'd expect that the, 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 the wider exchange would see um, some level of volume move into a new coin. Nothing happened at all, uh, which which says a lot of things. Some of it I won't say. Um, but we've we've had conversations with Peter B. We've actually, you know, been relisted, which has been great. We do have some trading volume there now. Um, we are, you know, supporting the market a little bit just to give them um, the, the the you know the, the thanks that they they deserve for for you know relisting us, which is great. Um, and you know, we've been successfully on there now for you know a couple of months. But the truth of the matter is, is unless there's significant trading volume on there, um, exchanges aren't interested. Right. Um, or will they say they're not interested, right? Yeah, well, um, I've been to a number of... They, they expect a payday, right? So, <laughs> Yeah, they're, uh, they're the casino, right? They're, right. They're, they need to win out of this. They need to to um, balance their books. And I understand that too, right? Like I'm not I'm not naive here um, and I'm not slagging off exchanges. They're the ones providing the service. They're the ones that need to get the customers in and they're the ones that need to get a, a good trading environment with good technology to back it, right? Um, so exchanges that are actually, um, you know, pushing for all of that, yeah, I get it. That's 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 a that's a big thing. Um, what I would suggest is that um, people need to understand that um, projects like ours take time to grow. You know, we're we're eighteen months old, really. That's that's the extent of it. Um, we will we will continue to grow and continue to build. And one of the things that we're trying to do is build out our development roadmap so that we're an attractive project for people to see um, and also deliver on the white paper. So as we build out paw print, which is our next, you know, hurdle that we're gonna tackle with Zach, um, we will be able to deliver on a white paper, which means there's a real world application for blockchain that we've developed and pushed pushed into the world. And that um, people can um, tokenize their pets on the um, on the blockchain, right? With with software to support that, and breeders can utilize it for their best purposes, essentially. Um, and breeders are, 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 I think, a bit of a um, uh, how do I phrase this? Um, untapped market in the sense of I think that they want to be able to see the relative. Um, genetic DNA through family tree that you can get through animals and so they want to be able to actually have the animals linked on the blockchain to, to see that right and to see who owns it solves a whole whole host of problems um, not to mention the microchip issue which um, microchips don't uh, um, exist as a as a universal entity there are multiple mi uh, microchip uh, companies that are all battling for their own market share uh, right. we basically hurt all of them so we become a global market trip opportunity so when you put it in that perspective, that's what we're bringing to the table. We think people see the value in that. We think people see the um, opportunity there. And we know that the, the supporters of Meowcoin who have stuck with us for this long will reap the benefits. 
Yeah, and I think the general consensus from from what I gather from uh, Discord, uh, people are in agreement. I mean, most of the people there, are, at least from my, my perception, are miners. And so the reason why Malcoin doesn't have a lot of volume on exchanges and so why, uh, why it remains... Um, moves slowly, I guess some people might say, um, is because <laughs> mostly most people are just mining and hodling. Like, <laughs> I haven't sold any yeah. Malcoin. You know, since the inception, so I've been mining for about six, seven months now, and I haven't sold a dime of it. Um, and I think that's that's uh, most miners on Meowcoin. So that's why the volume is low. That's why, um, you know, I think most most people on Discord are um, are backing you up in the idea that, you know, we want first development media. That's why Rhubarb Media is up on the, on the game here. Um, and uh, yeah. He, he knows. Yeah. He knows exactly how to build it, and we're we're, we're trusting him, and we're trusting the fundamentals that he's putting in place for us. Uh, because a, he's got track record. He did it with Casper. Mm. Uh, look where Casper is now. Um, we know that we've got something. We we know it. I mean, the look, I, Manta and the team and I, like we we've, we've sat down. We we nutted out how to do this. We know that we've got something that's good here. Mm. Um, we just need to be patient and build it. And um, you know businesses take time to, sure. to, to get the exposure that they need um when bull run hits we've got the perfect perfect branding for yeah, um, on your hat man <laughs> yeah. i like your hat yeah yeah so we, we've been in talks with a um with a um supplier in um uh, asia for another set of these hats um and we're, we're working on the costing for that and and we're going to get that sorted so um we'll soon be able to launch some merch um it'll tie in with the website update that we're we're working on mm -hmm. uh, and when that when that happens we can begin on that process as well um limited edition merchandise with a qr code on the back that's been turned onto a blockchain how cool is that yeah so merch is gonna come on on the uh website sometime soon yeah yeah so it'll be part of our uh re relaunch so i'm just having a chat with a, a couple of um hat suppliers now um we've also got rhubarb working on the website um to be relaunched which is great we're really excited by that um and uh yeah that that's about you know bringing our branding in line and getting us ready for bull um so that people who are aware of who we are um can get the word out uh, but then naturally as the crypto sphere um begins to um turn into a little bit more of a bullish market and people are looking for altcoins to get behind they'll find us and they'll know that you know we're, we're not some pump and dump project we've actually put the hard yards in we've got technology to back it up um, and we've made the development um, cues that 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 people are looking for. I think the uh, the the hat's gonna catch some attention out because it is a catchy looking hat, man. Yeah, I, I will admit I'm not the best model to be showing, but you know we'll we'll run with it, right? <laughs> good, 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 man. So we're now looking at uh, paw print. That's the the big next development that we're looking for. I'd like to start to investigate Segwit and Taproot as well. They're two things that I think are you know relatively powerful that i think people will will want um mantra and i have talked about lightning we're not sure about that one um you know we, we need to talk about it a bit more uh we just need to make sure that we've got obviously the the right framework for it um and we're, we're going to get um zach to have a look at um in emporium soon too which is something that we want to bring back up to scratch and yeah. um you know get get it functional again so yeah emporium i think will be a um could be a big one for the for the simplicity like i looked at the um <clears throat> at the environment and it looks very simple uh creating nfts and, and posting them up and just it kind of makes it for a fun project you know to be involved in yeah that's right so and that's what we're optimistic on so um yeah we're we're, we're optimistic that the, the the work that we're doing now will um you know get to where we Get to where we need to be so and, and that's the goal right like we want the community to, to win out of this but most importantly we want to be you know confident that we're doing the right thing by the partners that we got so we brought on a new shelter um as, as everyone sort of saw um so last week we donated to um the um animal rescue corps which was really exciting for us uh, we're now investigating a couple more that we're we're looking to bring on um, i'm just waiting on some emails back and communications back so that's really exciting. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll be working to, um, uh, uh, you know, obviously as, as price uh, permits, we'll, we'll, we'll increase our donations 
to those places. Um, but that that's kind of what we're about, right? Like we, we want to be a crypto project that's doing some good. We believe that we are. Um, you know, we're, we're nearly up to that sort of $50,000 mark that we donated in, in, in the time that we've been alive. And it's persistent and consistent. And I think that's the thing that people need to remember. Um, we're, we're actually doing this every week. This is not stopping for us. Um, so there's been other projects that I know that have um, tried to do donations to, um, uh, you know, uh, pet um, pet foundations and, and what have you. And, and, you know, they've been victim to the, the market price and, and the way that they're structured. Um, so their ability to do things in a persistent manner has been sort of um, impacted. But we, we know that we've always got the chance to donate um, every every week. And that's what we want to take advantage of. So, yeah. Right yeah, that's good to know. Um security in a way <laughs> security for the project that's right yeah those are all the questions that i have um and uh i think we're going to close it up with that um <clears throat> if you are new to the project and uh you want to check it out hop on over to meow coin what's the website meow 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 uh new music crypto.com right um okay. is what we're at um so the meow coin um domain meowcoin.com is i think it's about Five hundred thousand dollars. So we, we we neglected to purchase that one. We got the other one instead. So the ticker. So mu musiccrypto. Um, dot com and uh, come join us in Discord. Yes, please do get involved. All right, Andrew. <clears throat> thanks for tuning in. Thanks for jumping on on this quick chat. Thirty minutes. Uh, this was great. Let's do it again sometime. Yeah. No worries. We'll do. Thanks, mate. All right. Talk to you later, man. <laughs> <laughs>